And now, the atheist sledgehammer, Dusty Smith. Hey dudes, what's up? It's me, Dusty Smith. And I don't know if you guys have been paying attention lately, but Facebook has turned into America's funniest home pictures, man. That's all it is. It's a competition to see who can post the funniest picture. I call them peens, man. Picture memes. That's all the fuck Facebook has turned into. In fact, that's all Reddit.com is, all Tumblr is, all Dig is, all that shit is nothing but picture memes these days. Apparently, people's attention spans have become so short, they don't even want to fucking read text anymore. They just want to see pictures with a little text above it, little text below it, and that's fucking it, man. Obviously, something about that combination rewards the brain centers, because people love that shit. And if you don't believe me, just go to your Facebook timeline and see that shit for yourself. It's very obvious. In fact, I want to make a prediction. I predict in the very near future that all Facebook statuses will have to be put on pictures or nobody will read them. It's already happening. Just look for yourself, man. So if you can't beat them, fucking join them, man. Create your own memes. Instead of writing your statuses as statuses as boring old text, go to places like quickmeme.com and turn your clever statuses into your own memes. In fact, I've made a few myself. Here's some of my favorites. Condescending Wonka says, Oh, you've activated your Facebook? Your friends must be devastated. Seriously, people, those of you who continuously inactivate and reactivate your Facebook accounts, that shit gets old. We're tired of seeing you come and go. Make up your fucking mind already. And on a similar note, oh, you've unfriended me from Facebook? That's a mature way to get my attention. There's not a day goes by that somebody doesn't send me a message to let me know they've unfriended me. Don't fucking tell me. Just go. You're obviously doing it for attention, and I don't give a shit. That's not a mature way to get my attention. If you want my attention, message me nicely and have a conversation with me. And while I'm talking about good reasons to unfriend me on Facebook, what if I told you that all your kids look the same to me? As I'm scrolling through your timeline, I see all you parents continuously posting on your kids. I can't tell one from the other. They all blend together. It's just a sea of vanilla. The truth is, your kids are only really interesting to you. And to be honest, they're not really that interesting to you either. So stop forcing them upon the rest of us, please. And I read that Dick Clark died recently, and I really like Dick Clark. And I've heard a lot of people complain that there can't possibly be a New Year's without Dick Clark counting down the New Year's. So why don't they just take the Tupac hologram technology and use it to make Dick Clark count down the new year? It's so obvious! And speaking of obvious, I've noticed a lot of guys on the internet want to put down really good looking girls for being bitches or putting them in friend zones. But here's the truth, man. Maybe hot girls have to be bitches because all the losers that constantly hit on them won't leave them alone otherwise. You ever thought about that? Of course you haven't, but that is the truth. Can you imagine if you were a hot girl how many offers a day you would get? Eventually, you would have to start becoming a bitch to guys to get them to fucking leave you alone because guys would just not take the hint. And really, most of these guys that have this hatred towards these really good looking women, it's because they really hate themselves, man. It's because they're scumbag brain. Because a girl repeatedly treats you like shit and your scumbag brain forgives her because she's hot. That's the way your mind is wired, man. No matter how bad a girl treats you, if she's hot enough, you're probably gonna forgive her, man. If that's not her fault, that's your fucking brain's fault, man. That's evolution's fault for wiring your brain to make her fucking irresistible to you because she's so fucking hot. Don't blame her, man. Blame your brain. Or, if you come up with any kick-ass quotes, you can turn your quotes into a meme. Here's one I made that says, Nobody can break your heart. All that happens is that the person who used to make your brain release pleasurable chemicals is no longer doing so and your brain is drug-deprived. That person is not the only person capable of making your brain release those chemicals. Replace them and move on. Real fucking talk, dudes. And it's impossible to break your fucking heart, dude. It's all in your head. All we're talking about is chemicals in the brain. Understand what the fuck's going on and deal with that shit. Or, if you're really lazy, you can just go to someecards.com and turn your statuses into e-cards. You ever write a really good status and then end up reading it over and over again, basking in the glory of how awesome you are? Don't lie. You know it's really over when the other person becomes too boring to stalk on Facebook anymore. You guys know what I'm talking about. When that time finally comes, where you no longer give a shit enough about that person anymore to go check to see what the fuck they've been up to, that's how you know your ass has moved on. I'm telling you right now, man, if you're not turning your statuses into funny pictures, you're really left behind, man. This is an evolutionary process. Squeaky wheel gets the grease. I've seen the future, man. And in the future, Darwinian survival of the fittest is decided by who's the most interesting on Facebook. So remember, kids, the most important thing you can possibly do in your life is to find funny pictures to post on your Facebook wall so that strangers will think you're cool. The internet has spoken. Logic. It's time to judge myself, I'm just trying to pay that toll.